Hi, it's Danny here. Today I want to share my top three tips with you that make healthy cooking for a whole family a lot easier. Tip number one is get roasting. Anytime the oven is on, even if you have your kids' pizza in there or you're doing your Sunday roast, rummage through your fridge and roast anything at the same time. It could be your sweet potatoes or it could be your carrots. It's so simple. Or buy a bag of ready-made roasting vegetables. When your vegetables are done, there's something really satisfying about it because it's a bit like making leftovers on purpose. You could keep those in the fridge for a couple of days. You can use them for your lunch the next day. If it's a sweet potato, you can mix it in with your salad bowl. There's something so satisfying about being sort of a step ahead of yourself. Give it a go. Tip number two, get dipping. At times, the only way to keep my hands out of the biscuit tin is to be prepared. And to me, that means having lots of dips ready, waiting for me, sitting in the fridge, and a bowl of cut up vegetables so that I can satisfy any cravings I may have. Let's have a look. So, this is me being super prepared. I'm feeling quite smart right now. But you don't need to do this every day because these will last you for quite a few days in the fridge. So if I take them out of the Airtead containers, I can then put them in lovely serving bowls and they're full of the good stuff. Have a look at all the lovely dip recipes on the blog, on my blog. This is my yummy hummus recipe. Here I've made a pea and mint mash. It's so simple to make. And my super skinny cashew dip with parsley is really yummy too. Happy dipping. <laughs> Tip number three is keep it simple. Start by writing down all the meals that you already cook every week. Group them into healthy options that work well and into dishes that your kids love but that are less healthy. And then keep and repeat the ones that already work for you. You might be surprised, perhaps you're doing much better than you think. And then see how you could update or upgrade the less healthy but popular meals. Three, two, one. Say for example your children love spaghetti or pasta with pesto. It's such a quick meal to make and most children love it. But perhaps you're a little bit worried that your children's diet is a little bit wheat heavy. You could simply swap out wheat spaghetti or penne and replace them with spelt or brown rice pasta or penne. They are complex carbohydrates and they're totally wheat free. Most of the time children don't even notice it. And then see if you can add some steamed broccoli or green beans or even some peas on the side. That way you're upgrading all the nutrients but you're still keeping it really simple. And last but not least, keep it simple and repeat the meals that work because we really don't need to be cooking 30 different meals every month. 